Do you all know that in Deadpool and Wolverine, we are going to revisit some of the greatest MCU movies to come out, but it isn't actually clear which ones we will see since they could visit all of them. However, using logic and what has been revealed so far, I'm able to take a guess as to which universe we will see. But before that, this is just a theory and theory can only take you so far, so you have been warned. And also, spoiler warning in case this does turn out to be true. Before I get to the potential movies that we will see, I just want to present a theory as to why Deadpool and Wolverine will be multiverse timeline hopping, since this will make sense later on when I explain why I chose the movies that I had chosen. We know that this movie would directly set up Avengers 5 Bye Bye Kang, so this means that they could be multiverse hopping to hide from the TVA at next events a lot like Loki and Sylvie did. But we do see at the end of Loki season 2 that everyone gets free will so this wouldn't make sense. So why would they universe hop well? What if Deadpool and Wolverine are trying to cause as many different timelines as possible and they do this by altering some of the biggest most important events in the MCU. More events means more timelines. More timelines means more Avengers to fight Kang. And so you get the idea. Let's start off by clearing out the movies that we already know will be visited. That is Thor the Dark World. We know from CinemaCon that they showed footage of Loki's death in that movie but instead of Loki it was Deadpool and they may or may not actually revisit this scene in the movies another movie that is more or less confirmed at least by the public okay is Endgame, or more specifically the Battle of Earth, since it seems as though we'll get a remake of the I am I man scene but with Deadpool saying something along the lines of I am Deadpool or I am they could also pull up alongside the Avengers in the Avengers Assemble scene and most people believe this to be the case because of the portal scene at the end of the trailer. They may even recreate Sam getting the shield but instead of Old Man Rogers it's Old Man Deadpool or Old Man Logan giving the shield or claws or katanas, I don't know. You know what, screw that. They could remake the entire movie but every character is just played by Deadpool and Wolverine. That was an exaggeration, it probably won't be like that but I do wish that happened. These are all of the films that have been confirmed so far and the next set of movies are purely just a guess but there is evidence to suggest why but before that Okay. Listen up top, subscribe right now. You interrupted me again. Oh, guess what? I don't care. Are you done now? Why does this guy keep interrupting me? Wait, where was I? The Dark World, Rant About Endgame. Oh, yeah. So the next movie I think they could revisit is Captain America 1, since we do see Wade salute Cap in the teaser trailer for the movie. But there aren't that many moments from that movie that could cause a branch timeline, besides maybe two. The first is the scene where Steve Rogers gets injected with the Super Soldier Serum. So by altering this event in some way, perhaps giving Steve an adamantium skeleton or something, we then would have a super strong Cap who was already super strong. It would also make sense since Wolverine is the 10th in the line of weapon projects conducted as part of Project Pegasus by the US government. Steve was weapon 1 and Wolverine was weapon X. The second scene from this movie could be Bucky's death or sort of death. They could perhaps arrive and stop Hydra from taking Bucky and this would change a lot of things in the MCU. Like Tony's parents won't be dead, the events of Captain America 2 won't happen and Civil War would have gone a lot more differently. A lot of things changed with that one scene. The next movie would also be a Thor movie but the good one this time. Oh. What? That's right, it's Thor Ragnarok. Now this one is just based purely off rumors about this line from Deadpool. People have waited decades for this fight. It's not gonna be easy. So apparently the fight that people have been waiting for for decades isn't Sabretooth, but the Hulk. And this makes sense since we did see him fight Sabretooth in 2000. And let's be honest, no one really cares of a rematch between Sabretooth and Wolverine. So what if Wolverine joins the contest of champions and fights the Hulk, or at least the variant of Wolverine might. We also see Paradox show Wade the moment Thor becomes the true God of Thunder in that TVA panel where he shows him the entire MCU, they could also visit another epic multiverse crossover movie that fans were excited and hyped for. And that movie is more Spider-Man No Way Home. This could be how we see Tobey Maguire and Hugh Jackman meet on screen as their respective characters for the first time. But it does seem unlikely since No Way Home wasn't that long ago. And as a matter of fact, I think that them revisiting any Phase 4 or 5 movie may be unlikely, but not impossible. Just unlikely since it wasn't really that long ago since they had come out. But what movie did come out almost 9 years ago is Age of Ultron. Since that movie got no love in Endgame, it might make sense for them to go back to that moment in the tower in Sokovia and fight alongside the Avengers in that epic team up moment. Speaking of epic team up moments, we might also see them in the first team up moment in Avengers 1, but it is unlikely since Avengers Endgame had already done this. There are also some non MCU movies that can be revisited, one being X Men The Last Stand. Since I think that the moment Logan kills Jean will either be revisited as a moment of torture for Logan or as the reason Wolverine's universe died out. I'd made a video on this theory a few months ago, so to go check it out. Another movie is Logan, since Wolverine dies in that movie, so them visiting Wolverine's grave might serve as an important plot point or something. And the final movie will be Elektra, since we do know that Jennifer Garner is set to return for this movie, so we might see the moment where she gets pruned or joins the void or something along those lines. But these are all the films I think that will be in it, but comment below any film you think will also be in it, and subscribe whilst you're there.